everyone keep your fingers crossed. Hello YouTubes, it is the day of reckoning for my 2010 Dodge Ram Laramie 5.7. I've been fighting for the last three weeks to diagnose a engine fault code. It started off with a crank position sensor and then it turned into random multiple cylinder misfire. I've been replacing the crank position sensor with a cheap Amazon part and I hope and pray that it's because I've been fitting a very cheap Chinese part that's been causing all these issues. So I have finally splashed out on what I believe is actually a Mopar part. It comes from a company called Standard Auto Parts. I looked them up, they seem to have a good review made in America. And on closer inspection of the crank position sensor, it looks suspiciously similar to the Mopar unit, which is roughly the same price. So I'm hoping it is the same. It looks like that. Very distinctive with a little green o-ring. So I'm going to try once more and uh, if this doesn't resolve the issue, as I say, it's going to be time to move on. I've replaced this so many times you don't need to see it so just give me a second and we'll get this done. It wouldn't take long, it's just a 10mm bolt, take a cloth in case it drips. Right, I'm going to clear the code this time and then we'll go for start. Okay, codes are cleared, let's try one more time. Now, it always starts no problem at all, it's the cutting out of traffic lights that I can't deal with. So I will start it, let it run. If it doesn't conk out on the driveway, then we'll go for a drive. Here we go. Everyone keep your fingers crossed. Don't uncross those fingers. I'll bring you back in about five minutes. Well, it's been 10 minutes. We're still running, but don't uncross those fingers yet. We need to go for a drive. No warning light at the moment, but who knows what can happen in the next five minutes. Let's find out. So if you hear a bong, then I will immediately switch the video off because there will be much swearing going on. This is both exciting and terrifying at the same time because as soon as that bomb comes on, it's going to completely change my mood. At the moment, I'm kind of hopeful.
last glimmer of hope has now disappeared over the horizon. Don't get me wrong, if I had another truck type reliable vehicle then I would keep on working on the truck but I need something reliable and a bit less money drainy you know it's just buying you know components and sensors constantly I don't know what else it can be there's obviously the whole wiring might be shot it might be have dropped a valve who knows and I'm just I'm done I'm done I need something else so that's what I'm doing tomorrow I'm going to look at some truck type vehicles it doesn't necessarily have to be a truck but I, need, I do need something that I can lug parts about and you know, carry junk which you can't really do in a normal car well you could but you need to have the, the trunk open all the time for the sort of stuff that I carry so for everyone who has been helping with the truck all this time thank you very much I did get an extra almost two years out of it after the last engine disaster so kind of count myself lucky it's still running as you can see but once that fault code triggers it kind of goes down to four cylinders which is no way to drive a vehicle it didn't stall while I was out so that's a good thing but I don't know if that's just luck or if it's yet another faulty sensor I'm just done I just I just don't want to be constantly buying stuff in the hope that that's it so that's it as I say thank you very much for everyone who's helped with the the red ram but has to go catch you tomorrow